gonna be the world famous chocolate chip cookies made by Caleb Jackson. Oh, those little beauties are looking good, looking real good in that oven. Man, I'll tell you what, that's going to taste good. Was at Sam's getting my ingredients, and I ended up buying this, it said brown sugar. So I bought this bag of sugar, but man, that's seven pounds of brown sugar. I think I might have to return that, because we already got brown sugar. I noticed in the cabinet. Sharon, you know, she's she's always prepared. I got such a good wife. She already had brown sugar. So I went ahead and took it out of its little crummy bag and put it in this nice Ziploc. Roll it up. Boom, there's our brown sugar. Bought more vanilla extract. I already had that. So this is how our little mix came out. Found Sharon's little recipe book and she had her little recipe there for some chocolate chip cookies so we're putting this to the test you know you can go to walmart and just buy a tube of that stuff but when you get home and you start putting it on the pan that tube only makes like 20 cookies and in this household man the way them kids eat 20 cookies go a long way or don't go a long way i'll be going before you can blink your eyes so maybe i need this seven pound bag of sugar who knows also bought a, uh, where are we at here? 10 pound bag of sugar. And we already had sugar, so now we got extra. Anybody need some sugar, come on over. We'll help you out. Oh yeah, just pulled these out of the oven. Gonna let them cool for a few minutes. And I got my next batch in there, ready to rock and roll. Nothing like a good Baking in the kitchen around Christmas time. It just feels special for the holidays. I'm off all week long, so Very thankful. It's time to have some fun And uh, let's see what they got on the TV here Watching a little Ernest Ernest saves Christmas. You can't beat Ernest for Christmas time He's the best Just pulled the second batch out of the uh, oven here, and these last couple ones didn't have enough chocolate chips on them, so me and Caleb threw a couple extra chips on them. Now the other ones, they got it all mixed in, in there, to make it a little more chocolate chippy. Here's the first batch, put it on the, uh, this Christmas plate, it was made by Tori back in 2003, so every day, every, every time for the holidays, that's what we stick our... Christmas cookies on. Back when the kids were little, you know, and when Santa Claus would come, we'd have to leave a bowl, uh, a little plate of cookies out for Santa Claus. <laughs> and they were always good. So you guys, hope y'all are having a great holiday week this week. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Katie Blaze always says, not A, not B, but see ya! Merry Christmas.